Hey everyone, it's Neon and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we'll be benchmarking Battlefield 5. So that means, you know, low, medium, uh, high, and ultra settings. Um, yeah, uh, also make sure to stay tuned because I will be uploading Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 benchmarks pretty soon. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say, so uh, let's just get right into it, shall we? Alright, so the first thing that we're going to test out is the low settings. As you can see, um, everything is set to low. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so here we are playing the game at the low settings, and as you can see, we're getting more than 100 FPS in this non-demanding area. Um, but as you can see, the CPU seems to be the main bottleneck here, but don't let that fool you. The GPU is still working its ass off to get more than 100 FPS in, you know, these areas which is not very demanding. But a more realistic scenario, like in the battlefield, like, you know, all the way over there. Um, you're gonna get like, you know, 80, 70 FPS, but it's gonna stay above 60 all of the time. Well, um, yeah, so we're using about 11 gigabytes of RAM, which is not bad whatsoever. Um, but yeah, if you do buy this game, make sure to get at least 16. Um, the CPU, uh, the GPU is getting quite hot. It's getting a 70 degrees Celsius, so you might want to turn up the, you know, the fan curve, uh, quite a bit. Uh, let's try to arrive this dude. Um, we got it. Yeah, we don't got it. Alright, so next up we have the medium settings. Of course, uh, we have vertical sync off and we have future frame rendering on as that helps your FPS a lot. Um, but yeah, everything is set to medium. Um, so um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so as you can see, we're now playing at the medium settings. Um, yeah, so so far so good. Uh, we're getting around 90-ish FPS. Um, sometimes dropping into the low 90s, high 80s from time to time. Um, but yeah, the CPU is at 100% the majority of the time. We're using about 10.5 gigs of RAM. Um, yeah, nothing's really bad at all. I mean, the game isn't stuttering. Um, you know, it's not dipping. Uh, the FPS is not dropping. It's uh, definitely a playable experience. So, if you want to play the game with a mix of you know graphical fidelity and also uh, FPS, then yeah, medium setting is probably the way to go. Uh, so you know, make sure to put the game on medium. But if you do enjoy, you know, graphic fidelity over, you know, FPS, um, you know, the high setting is always there, even the ultra setting, if you may. Um, but yeah, I mean, the game isn't performing that bad at all. Also, you also have to kind of remember that uh, you can always overclock your GPU for, you know, 5 to 10 FPS more, especially the 970. It's a pretty good overclocker, so if you overclock the GPU properly, you can get, you know, 5, maybe even 10 FPS more. Um, but yeah, the game, you know, looks great, runs well, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, so uh, let's move on to the high settings, shall we? Alright, so next up, we have the high settings, make sure to turn on future frame rendering, um, yeah, just the high settings, so uh, let's just get right into it. Alright, so here we go, uh, playing at the high settings, this, you can see the game looks <laughs> really good, actually, um, yeah, uh, the game is still performing super well. We're getting around, you know, 75 to 80 FPS. Uh, we're staying above 60 all the time. Uh, we almost got that guy. Got a really good assist. Um, yeah, uh, the game is performing super well. Not much to complain about. I mean, being completely honest, the game looks really good at the high settings. There's no reason to even go to the ultra settings as the game doesn't really improve drastically uh, in terms of graphics. Uh, we're going to test out ultra in, like, you know, a second, so it's not that big a deal. Um... Yeah, the game is super well. It looks really good. Uh, game performs well. No stutters, no dips. Uh, always above 60, even uh, above 75 most of the time, honestly. Um, so, yeah, let's just move on to the last one, shall we? Alright, last but not least, we have the ultra settings. Um, actually, I have never uh, tested out this GPU and the CPU with the ultra settings, so um, this is going to be kind of cool, actually. Um, so, as you can see, everything is set to ultra, so um, let's just get right into it, shall we? Alright, so now we're playing the game at the ultra settings, and the game just, um, wow, the game looks great, um, uh, yeah, the game just looks great, uh, we're still getting about the same FPS as the high settings, so there's a guy over there. Got a double kill there. Um, even though we're getting roughly about the same FPS, you know, we're getting around, you know, 3, 5, maybe 6, 7, 8 FPS less. Oh god, um... Yeah, so we're getting, you know, roughly about the same FPS. The game looks quite a bit different, though. Um, the shadows are definitely improved quite a bit, and the textures themselves just, you know, look better. Um, we're using more uh, GPU than uh, CPU now, so it, you may need a more powerful, uh, you know, GPU 
if you want to get more FPS, um, you know, at the ultra settings especially, because on the lower settings, it's more uh, CPU dependent, so if you have a better CPU, like for example, maybe like a Ryzen, you know, Ryzen 5 3600, you're going to get, you know, 10, 20 FPS more, but um, for the higher settings, like the high and the ultra, you may want, you know, like an RX 560, uh, 1060, 60 gig, you know, something like that. But if you don't have those, that's still completely fine. Uh, you can still play this game just fine with a GTX 970 and this i3. Um, so yeah, that's you know that's pretty much the end of the video. We tested out all the settings that I wanted to test out. Um, also, if you do switch to you know a lower resolution, you know, uh, you know it will increase stress on the CPU, but you will get you know around you know five to ten FPS more if you use you know 720p. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, you know, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy these type of videos. And tell me in the comments what you enjoy about these. So, uh, yeah, in the comments tell me what other games you want to see tested out. Pretty soon, um, I'll also put out uh, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 because I just got those games too. So, uh, yeah, I'll be uploading those videos pretty soon. And anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, guys. So, see ya.